summary of the story the canterville ghost written by oscar wilde the canterville ghost is a well known short story which begins with the sale of an old british mansion called canterville chase to harass b otis an american at the time of sale lord canterville warns mr otis that the mansion is haunted but mr otis is not upset and he is not ready to believe lord canterville after that mr otis and his family stay though in the mansion mr otis wife lucretia his eldest son washington his 15 year old daughter virginia and his two young twin boys are though in the family upon moving in mr otis sees a dull red stain on the floor and orders to wipe it by taking it as a silly matter then the housekeeper explains that it is a blood stain from the murder of lady lanor de canterville who was murdered in 1575 by her husband sir simon de canterville and that blood stain cannot be removed from the floor the housekeeper wants Mr Otis that Sir Simon's ghost still haunts Canterville Chase Mr Otis neglects the words of the housekeeper and takes a scrubber then removes the blood stain from the floor as soon as the stain is removed lightning flashes and a peal of thunder rocks the house then housekeeper faints in horror In the next morning Mr Otis notices that the blood stain has mysteriously returned on the floor After a few days Mr Otis awakened in the middle of the night by a clanking noise then he follows the sound of the chain and suddenly meets Sir Simon's ghost Instead of being frightened Mr Otis mocks Sir Simon's ghost by saying to oil the rusty chain and gives a bottle of oil to use then furious ghost of sir simon meets the twins who throw pillow at his head on the way back sir simon's ghost remembers his successful journey as ghost in the past and now it is impossible to scare modern americans Here in this story we can see the differences between the cultures of the new world and the old world the humor in this story is gentle not sarcastic